Let's redesign a suburban neighborhood for 96% less land use. Not only will this help end the mass extinction, it will give us richer, healthier, and happier lives. The design technique we'll be using is called factoring. We'll be looking for patterns that repeat and finding ways to combine them for higher quality and performance. Here's a typical neighborhood, nothing special. Now look at it from a design perspective. Do you see any patterns that repeat? How about all those roofs and walls? Let's factor them into a single building. While we're at it, let's shrink those kitchens and build a nice ground floor cafe. And hey, there's also room for a gym, a library, a makerspace, a laundry room, and bike parking. So we can ditch those dens, garages, laundry, and hobby rooms that hardly ever get used. Now we're using half as much material overall. Heating and cooling costs 86% less because there's 86% less exterior wall and roof area. Let's also replace those gardens with a professionally managed landscape and a greenhouse on the roof. The greenhouse does four things. It grows a predictable supply of year-round food for the cafe. It replaces 20 times its area of industrial agriculture. It provides local jobs with zero commute. And it adds extra climate control to the building. Now that we're using 90% less energy for heating and cooling, we can invest some of the savings back into more insulation and high-efficiency air and water heat pumps, saving 96% overall. Together with high-efficiency cafe and laundry facilities, that cuts household energy use by 77%. The footpath carries the same number of people as the streets did, but occupies 97.5% less space. That saves an expense so huge, it's usually hidden in your taxes and subsidized by denser inner city neighborhoods. Let's put some of the money we saved into building a shelter over the path so you can use it in any weather. Bikes use 50 times less material than cars, and the mild exercise you get from biking and walking can cut your health costs in half. If we put solar panels into that shelter, the path will provide much of the small amount of energy we now use and still cost less than the streets it replaces. How about all those little backyard pools? Let's replace them with something big enough for swimming laps. Instead of using chlorine, though, we'll keep it clean with natural regeneration zones of reed beds and vascular plants. Thousands of natural swimming pools like these have been built around the world, and they work great. They also go a long way toward restoring biodiversity. Let's have a lawn with a swing set and put in a wider variety of trees in a small woodland. Even with the lawn, pond, and woodland, this whole development is 25 times smaller than the suburb, so we can build it five times closer to jobs and shopping. Everything's much closer, but it will feel less crowded because it won't be cluttered with streets and cars and parking lots, and it will be a lot more green. Overall costs, including transportation, energy, and healthcare, are much lower per person, but the amenities and quality of life are better. There's a thousand times less street noise, no car exhausts, far less risk of crashes or travel delays, far fresher food, much less illness, far more convenience, and a lot more time to have fun with the people in your life. If this is the kind of place you would like to live, leave a like and let us know your thoughts about it in the comments. Let's add up how much land we freed up for wild habitat restoration. The original project was 7.5 acres of lots plus 3.3 acres of streets. The rooftop garden saved us an additional 4.4 acres of farmland and roads. That's a total of 15.2 acres. Our new project occupies 0.6 acres, complete with bike path, pool, lawn, and woodland. So we freed up 96% of the land for wild habitat. But outside this neighborhood, you're still stuck with legacy infrastructure, such as roads and cars. That's why designing sustainable neighborhoods is not enough. We need to design sustainable cities. We'll take a first look at the business case for that in the next episode.